welcome back to my channel and happy Thanksgiving to you all. Hopefully you had a great Thanksgiving, spent some time with some family. If you're not in the US, hopefully you had a good rest of your week. This week we're gonna be installing a super easy modification to the Z to make the engine bay look so much better. I ended up getting this as a Black Friday deal from Z1 Motorsports. Hopefully you're able to check out their site when they were doing their Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals because they had great prices going on. I picked up a couple mods that were basically half off. I'll be doing some videos over those. I might even show you what it is or you might get a sneak peek. Look forward to those videos coming in the future. But today we are gonna be installing a Z1 Motorsports carbon fiber radiator diffuser. This thing is pretty awesome. This carbon fiber looks really good. I love the way this looks. It's got a really nice shine to it. I think it's just gonna clean up the engine bay a little bit more and make it look a little classier, a little sportier. You know, everybody loves carbon fiber. I have little spots of carbon fiber all throughout the Z and I thought this was the perfect addition. Original price on this thing is $300. Yeah, you heard me right, 300 bucks. I know that's a lot for a piece of carbon fiber, but honestly, it's just cool. I got it for 150 bucks on their Black Friday deal. Like I said, this thing was 50% off. I hadn't seen it that much off at all throughout the whole year. The most I've seen it on discount was $100, if that. So shout out to you, Z1 Motorsports, for having a very good quality product and extremely fast shipping. Like I said, this thing's super easy to install. It's just six clips from the front bumper. You just undo them, throw it in there, and redo the clips itself. But I still wanted to do a video specifically over this just to show you the quality of product. I didn't really find too many videos on YouTube over this specific piece, especially the carbon fiber one. They do offer it in an aluminum version that's only 80 bucks, I think, which if you're trying to save money, it still looks really clean. I actually almost went with that one, but decided to shell out the money and buy a carbon fiber version. So with that being said, let's get this over with. It'll probably only take two to three minutes, but I still wanted to film it for you guys. And that's it, it's so easy to install. It literally takes 30 seconds to a minute, if that. The hardest part, honestly, was just getting the clips out without breaking them. But this thing looks really good. I love the way this looks. It definitely fills the gap that's right here. I've always hated this huge gap that was in there. I didn't even realize that people made these, but once I saw it was on Z1 Motorsports, I knew I had to pick it up. The real reason why this is important is because it does channel the air coming through your front bumper directly into your radiator. Instead of it going up and out over your engine being wasted, it's channeling it directly to your radiator. That's gonna help cool it down a little bit more than it did before the radiator panel was installed. I mean, everything about this is really nice. The fitment around the hood latch is perfect. Nothing's touching. It also does have a cutout here for the hood support. I kinda really like their logo that's raised. It's basically a metal plate in here. I'm so happy it wasn't just a sticker, especially with paying the premium price for the carbon fiber. Good job on Z1 Motorsports for designing a really great product that looks fantastic. And here's the box of the other modifications that I got on Black Friday. I'm not gonna show you exactly what's in there, but I will show you one thing that's kinda cool that I picked up, which is this Nismo drain plug. I think this is awesome. I've always wanted one. They've just been sold out for a really long time, and now they finally got some in, so I decided to pick it up since I was ordering this stuff anyways. It's just a little part. No one's ever gonna see it besides me, but I mean, anything Nismo is really cool. All right, guys, I'm really excited with this installation. It was super easy, like I said. I will keep you updated with how it's holding up. I'm curious to see how the finish on the carbon fiber will hold up, especially being exposed to all the elements. I've never had carbon fiber that's exposed like that. If you do have carbon fiber, I know there's carbon fiber hoods, carbon fiber panels and different things like that. Drop it down below. Let me know how that finish holds up or if you end up having to re-clear coat it or anything like that. Also, let me know what you picked up on Black Friday or Cyber Monday in the comments below. Also, drop a like on this video if you did like it. Come back next week for another 350Z or a Jeep video and I'll see you guys in the next one.